Has anyone seen my map drops? Hi, Cizrin here with another quick video and I wanted to talk a little bit about the map drop rate in the upcoming Ultimatum League. For a lot of people that played Ritual, especially if it was their first league, they might be absolutely shocked and really, really struggling with the maps because I'm very experienced with map drops and it's actually pretty rough this league. A part of the map system and why it can sometimes be rough, it's you can get unlucky, right? So maybe on average and once you get going, it might feel fine and it, and it does for the most part, but if you get a couple of unlucky streaks, it can feel really bad. And that is a problem. So I want to talk a little bit about what you can do and uh, how you can increase your map drop rates a little bit. So obviously, alking your maps is pretty big. And a lot of people, that might already be a problem. You might already be struggling in alts. I do want to recommend that we do find a shit ton more bindings now. I only have five alchemies, but I have 50 bindings. So make sure you use your orb of bindings as alchemy orbs. But either way, right now I have like 10, 12 like yellow maps and it's been kind of hard sustaining. Uh, obviously, it actually encourages you to do more of different name mechanics. So doing things like incursion temples, that helps a lot with map sustain. Try to get the map room if you can. And remember, you can buy these from other players now. If you are doing tier 10 maps, having a tier 10 temple does a very, very big difference. Delve as well helps a lot more with maps now. I've actually noticed some more maps dropping there. So it's more like they've like just spread out map drops a little bit and it's harder to sustain from just mapping than it was before. I still haven't like needed to tissel or anything like that. I'm trying to save my tissels for like 13 to 16 maps. But as soon as you hit like tier 11s and 12s, start establishing an early base. There's no problem with tisseling a little bit early on. If you are on trade league, using scarabs and sextants early isn't too bad either, especially like the easiest tier. But something that's really, really important is to make sure that you can drop every tier. So, for example, now, if I search for tier 10 maps on my atlas, tier 10 maps can drop. So, can 11s, 12s, but 13s can't. So, I need to be very, very careful running both tier 11s and 12 maps. Because I've, if I'm in a tier 11 map right now and I kill the boss, the boss can never drop a tier 13 because, well, they're not on my atlas. So, because of that, we need to make really, really sure and make good use of the highlight maps bar to make sure that you can drop the maps. Um, if, for example, say, let's say that there was no tier 8 map, then the tier 7s would be dropping more of them. So they'll go one tier lower. If you had no tier 1 to 10 maps, well, you would just be losing those map drops. So make sure that you are using this search bar to make sure what you can drop. I'd say it's very important to engage with as many league mechanics as you can. Incursion, ritual especially, and stuff like that. Like a lot of things just help you drop a lot more maps. And I just want to like put out a quick video about it because like it is pretty hard to drop maps now. It's a lot harder than before. Make sure you make good use of like the Zana reset window because chance orbs is like pretty easy to use. Same with like alchemist isn't too bad. And uh, an important thing, especially talking about alchemies, I find that the new ultimatum mechanic drops a large amount of regrets. I think I've had over a hundred so far. And remember that from the vendor, you can buy alchemy orbs for one regret. So just go convert your regrets if you need that. Every time you do a Zana daily mission, that resets your shop. You don't actually have to complete the map you've opened as well. You can just put in a map uh, for like, you know, the Zana daily mission and boom, you have a whole new page of maps you can buy. So make good use of that. And always remember you can buy maps of other players in Trade League. Um, some things will really, really help with map drops. Like for example, the uh, Beachhead map is really, really good for that. And also Breach Stones. So I hope this helps a little bit. And if you guys have found other tips and tricks that might help new players, post them in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are having a great Ultimatum League. Obviously, map drops are a little rough, but that also makes them more exciting when you actually do drop them. But I know not everybody likes that. Anyway, hope you guys are having fun. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Sub if you like the videos. But more importantly, try to die less than I do.